instructions though. I think it's two days. Yeah, I got two I got three days to get all this done. So great, let's put the long sword there, long sword there. Price of metal items has increased. Nice. I'm gonna switch this out with Nothing. Okay, let's go to the store. Let's buy some. Uh, I'm gonna buy some hats. Hats. Where are the hats? They're gone. We don't have hats anymore. Oh, sweet. I should buy some food while they're dying. Let's see. How about three of those? Cool. Let's see. And I'll buy some shoes. Hell yeah. We're going back to shop. I'm gonna put some sandals up here, and cool. Well, with metal items being super expensive right now. Food stuff, heck yeah, I can give you a, uh, two beef balls. All said, and I'll give them to you for 3,006, fuck you, bitch. There we go. Cool. Let's see what we got here. We're gonna buy it for 3,000. 3,000? Yes, it's good, 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 good. Yeah. Watch me talk about how I like getting these sales, though, and that's really most of the commentary. Two bracelets, yeah, I'll give you that, and I'll give you that. Cool. And I think 900? Cool. That gives me something. That was a profit there at the very least. Though children do like to complain. That's the fairy that likes to try and rip me off sometime. Can we just consider oh. for a moment the fact that that fairy is buying human-sized shoes when she is very clearly not human-sized? Yes, we should consider that indeed. She's also very mean, though, and likes to tell me how horrible of a human being I am. Well, maybe it's just a fetish, but I don't know. Cool, I got a I'm fish for 300. I mean, I'm not either, but she's mean to me sometimes, and I don't like that. Okay, I'm judging her for that, but I'm not judging her for, for shit yeah, fetish. Yeah, that's true. I wouldn't judge anyone for that. I could go down to about... That'll be good. No, man, you're mean old man. Nasty old man. Jerk old man. Okay, I'll give it to you for... 30 cents. 20 cents. Yes, it is. 30? Yes, okay, cool. That's gonna be really good whenever it, like, goes back up in price. Something my grandmother treasured. Your tre grandmother really treasured an apple. That's kind of sad. I got it for 60 cents, though. His grandmother really treasured an apple. Maybe. That's kind of creepy to think about, though, isn't it? This guy's always here. I mean, I'm just gonna skip this. I mean, you live in the South for a while. You kind of get used to a lot of people being creepy and weird with their family traditions. That's true. I mean, and like I had. Often racist. That's true. I mean, it's the South. So that's that's true. That's what it's like being in the South, you know, you run into a bunch of horrible people. By the way, um, those rumors that apparently are circulating in the East and West Coasts about, uh, this is about how we just have daily lynchings down here and, uh, all of them for black people and also gay people. Uh, that's true, for the record. Yeah. Yeah. That's really true. I went to one. Didn't really like the atmosphere. I actually have a funny story, so... <laughs> Is this when about, I was like, in... A... Is this about so, you going to a lynching? No, so, no, this is actually, this is really, God, this one's so those really... Don't actually happen here. No, they don't. Um, but, like, when I was in college, 
I was in this psychology class, and this, uh, <laughs> and so, like, this guy, there was this kid in my class, though, who was basically, like, uh, who basically says to the professor one day, he's all like, hey, I'm gonna miss class on, uh, on Thursday, but uh, because I have to go to my KKK induction. <laughs> you know, just like, what the fuck? Didn't you once know a kid who, like, had a cool kids club that he was a part of? Oh, the, like, no, so, so here's like, the. So, no, case. so this was when I was in middle school. Yeah. I mean, like, actually. So when I was kid. in middle school, there was this kid who... <laughs> Sorry, because I was the one who got the club shut down. Um, when I was in middle school, there was this kid who uh, basically said, Hey, Michael, you want to join the KKK? I'm like, what's the KKK? He's like, the cool kids club. I'm like, that sounds really cool. Hell yeah, I want to join that. <laughs> And so I go in the car and I say, hey, mom, I joined the KKK. <laughs> and she's all like, what the fuck, Michael? <laughs> and um, she was all like, she's like, Michael, what the fuck? I told you not to get involved in those cults. <laughs> and I'm sitting here all like, what cult? She's like, you didn't know what the KKK is? You're a clan of people who hate black people. Well, I'm like, oh, I probably shouldn't be a member of that. You're right. Yep. And yeah, uh, it was really good. It was, it was hilarious. So she like goes yep. to like the principal of the school, and she's just like throwing a fit about the whole thing, like how all these kids are like trying to get me to join a cult and all that stuff. And I'm just like. And I'm just like, and no, yeah, basically after that, every, and it was basically just a means to try and like, you know, harass me. I was heavily bullied in middle school because, um, reasons I don't want to disclose right now. It's, but it was it's funny to look back on like times when you were like an innocent little kid and like didn't really know a lot of yeah. things. Like, yeah, and that was definitely part of it. Like, I remember, like, back when we first got a PSP back in the day, like... Oh, um, I remember this, because... Yeah, like, so, my brother got Sonic Rivals to play on it, and he let me play it, because reasons. And back then, we all had a habit of just, like, reading aloud for some reason. And... One of the characters in Sonic Rivals is a character called Eggman Nega from Sonic Rush. I think he debuted in Sonic Rush, right? Yeah. No, Eggman Nega debuted in uh, Sonic uh, Rush, yeah. No, wait, no, never mind, that's what you're saying. Yeah. So. But I don't know where he, where he debuted is really the point. But, like, anyway, so. Oh, shit. So I said aloud, like, the name of the character. Eggman Nega, and I remember my mom coming up to me and being like, where did you what hear did you... that word? And, and you're I like, was what super word? confused. And Okay, like, I'm gonna get a good score here. Heck yeah. So like, I said it again, and it was like, that word, where did you hear it? It's a bad word. And... Yeah, I, I didn't got know what she was talking about, and it took me until like I think till I was like fourteen to realize, oh, she thought I was saying the N word. Pretty much. So that was fun. Yeah. Like I went that whole time from playing that game to. Like sometime into high school age, thinking that "nega" was a swear word. <laughs> Sounds about right. 
put that on the shelf. Let's put Keep that on the shelf. Keep in mind, this is the same mom that wouldn't let us watch The Incredibles because she thought it was too violent, but let us watch Satanic. Passion of the Christ. <laughs> Passion of the Christ is my favorite non-violent movie. Yes, yeah, it'd be literal torture porn with a Bible oh. theme. Yeah, it's a pretty bad movie, in my opinion. Yeah. I still haven't watched The Incredibles yet. I probably should fix that one of these days. You should see the first one at the very least. Yeah. Second one's kind of, uh, bad. Second one I don't like all that much. I like all the Toy Story movies, even 4. I know some people say they have issues with 4, but... I haven't watched 4 and don't really plan to. Like, I'm one of those people who still think that, like, 3 was too good of an ending for them to make any more. Understandable, and I think some people feel the same way as you, but... Like, I don't know, this is really nitpicky on my end, but I feel like if it was called something like... Like something I mean, I think... it as being not a sequel, but more like an epilogue. Then I feel it kind of like is, but more... I mean, this movie also has a really. I mean, I Toy know. Story. Labeling it as a sequel is just I don't know, a little weird to me. It makes it a little harder to stomach, I guess. Yeah, but I mean, I still think. It's a really good, uh... Radical. I got a watermelon for dirt cheap. Bracelet. Do I got any bracelets? I'm afraid I don't. Here we go. Please give me something good. I'm so fucking serious? The most shameful Hello. thing I have to say about myself is that I didn't actually know Toy Story 3 was a thing until I saw someone I was following at the time Let's Playing the game based on it. Um, I knew it was a thing for like two years before it came out. Well, the thing you kind of have to realize about child me is that I lived under a rock, basically. Wait, food's like, still normal. Basically, if it wasn't a video game, I didn't know it existed. That's fair. She wants to buy cherry. Radical. I'm gonna give her it for 20 cents. Oh shit, I did not yeah, like, to sell that. That video game, by the way, looked bad. Just for a record. Toy Story 3? Yeah. Yeah, I've actually Which, played in it. I thought it was alright. No. So, it's kind of funny, because, like, I remember, like, the Toy Story 2 game on, like, PS1 and N64 and Dreamcast was actually surprisingly good. Like, yeah. it's not like, oh, wow, this is a licensed game, but, you know, it was a decent enough platformer for what it was. I guess, yeah, it was... It was alright. Yeah. I don't know. I don't have any hats. Jesus, this better not be like one of those last days where everything just goes so horribly. I know a lot of people really like the Super Nintendo Toy Story 1 game, but... I remember trying to play that and thinking I it was kind was... bad. So I played the Genesis version of it, and... I mean, it kind of has that same problem Earthworm Jim does for me, where they tried way too hard to make the movement feel fluid. Or not, not the movement, the animation feel fluid and, like, weighty and impressive. And it kind of had a negative impact on yeah. how the game felt to play. Yeah. Yeah, no, I didn't think it was that good either. It was... Really just mediocre in my opinion. I'm gonna see if I yeah. can sell anything at the, uh, sh at the market so I can maybe, you know. Let's see, let's see, this is gonna go. I'll get rid of these. Heck yeah. Let's the big thing I, I remember the Super Nintendo Toy Story game for is just the navigator review. 
that was like one of the most schizophrenic things I've ever watched. I mean, a lot of Navigator reviews were like that in general, though. I mean, George Wood was just a really fucking weird dude. God. Is he dead? Uh, I don't know. They tried to heard, make like, it seem like he was dead at some point, but people figured out at some point that that was just a no. marketing stunt. Somehow. Maybe, I don't know. Come on, can people stop asking me to buy shit off of them and actually of sell stuff? Here's the thing, we all know that George Wood actually died after the release of Final Fantasy IX by committing suicide because... In his Final Fantasy VIII review, he makes a claim that if Final Fantasy IX doesn't have, have voiceovers, that he's going to commit suicide because he hates text. In Final Fantasy IX, if you remember, did not have voiceovers. It didn't, you're right. So yeah. Rest in peace, okay, George. The worst part is, like, he was, like, one game away from a true, fully-voiced Final Fantasy experience. Yeah, that's true, he was. Well, mostly voiced. I think there was, like, I think NPC's dialogue was still, like, just text, but, you know, important stories uh, were voiced. Thank God, I got it. I think I made my goal. Yes, I made my goal. Thank you. <laughs> Cool. This is good. This is good. So I don't have any weapons. Uh, I'll sell you that. I'll buy it off of you for 2400. Oh, fuck you, dude. If he refuses, just, just make sure to mention to him. Oh, and by the way, if you, you, if you do not buy into the, this new generation of fishing pole madness, you are stupid. Yes, I know. It's insulting, but it's also the but truth. But it's also the truth. It, it really is the truth. That guy doesn't like to buy into fishing pole madness. That's still like, one of my favorite Navigator quotes. I think my yeah, favorite is... is still probably like the one about Lara Croft getting breast cancer. But... <laughs> That one was really good. Oh my god. What's wrong with that man? Um, he was, uh, I don't know. That was, he said, like, oh my god, you're getting breast cancer. I don't know. I was never a huge fan of Tomb Raider, though, so. I don't know. Am I, like, the only person who doesn't like the Tomb Raider games all that much? Not really. Like, I'm a little less harsh to them now as I was when I was younger, but I don't that's know, I fair. Can, I mean, I still can't get into them. I think was it like I back in a reboot and thought it was okay, but it also had a really terrible story. And that's I don't know, like a lot of modern AAA games, it's kind of a sort of thing where you only really have enough mechanics to last an hour and. They kind of just stretch it a little too thin. That's true. I mean, that's a and lot of games these it, days, they though. They introduce a crafting system where you can unlock upgrades for your character that barely make a difference, honestly. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to end the video off here. I will see you guys uh, next time. I might not. You might not. Who knows? Maybe you'll still be around. Maybe not. Maybe I'll have another friend. I'll well, see you guys I later. No, until whenever you record the next session. That's true. I'll see you guys later.